Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDancewear.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a poodle skirt. There's a few different things you're gonna need for this. Um, first, we have a longer circle skirt. Uh, you want it to go down to your knees. Unless you're looking for a sassy look, then you can pick a short one. So we have a long circle skirt here that we're gonna work with. Um, I have gone online and printed out a picture of a poodle, kind of like a cartoon drawing is what you want so that it has nice, thick, easy lines. I actually darkened all the lines with the blue so we could see through. I'm using a piece of cardboard because I don't want uh, anything to slip around. I'm going to cut this down a little just so it's a little more manageable. And we'll put that right on there. We're going to put the paper on there. Now, you can use felt or you can use, I'm using um, some velvet in this case, uh, cause I like the, the look of it. And as you can see, you can see right through to the pattern. If you're using felt, you'll wanna put the felt up against, uh, the paper up against a window, the felt on top of it, and then trace it onto your felt. So basically with this, um, we're also going to add some rhinestones. If you'd like, you can use pearls or something like that as a dog collar and then a dog leash. But in this case, um, we're going to go ahead and use rhinestones for the collar. But other than that, we'll use some glitter paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over it with some darker silver glitter. So we're going to go ahead and take the lid off, test it out. If for any reason it's stuck, just use a needle and poke it right through. It's really easy to do. Let's wipe off the edge of this. Then you're just gonna take and trace all the lines on here. And then what you'll be able to do is go back and cut right through, right next to it, so it'll have a finished off edge. There's the eye. And then you're just gonna follow all those lines. And it's really simple to do. And you just keep it slightly above and just float along the lines. If you mess up a little, it's okay. It's just a poodle skirt. It's not gonna be the end of the world. And then we just keep going. Now if you get to a spot that's wrinkled, just kind of spread it out, slide it back where it needs to be. And then just keep going. If you want, you can fill in the center of the little puffy uh, I, I'm not even sure what they're called, but for the poodle, the little, the little fur patches, I guess. I know some people that have taken that and put, um, like little cotton balls in there to make it nice and fluffy. Uh, let's do the collar. Get the collar nice and thick. Like that. Now, I'm going to take some rhinestones and just set them, oops, man down. Set it right on top of there. Just tap it down a little. Keep going. Just make sure you use the tweezers to slide it around and line it up. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a poodle, but the poodle is the traditional thing that you see, and it just lets everybody know what type of a skirt it is. Um, but I've seen people use like little shoes or, you know, um, little little kitty cats, things like that. And then just keep going. Let's put a few more on here. And one more. Now, the reason I'm doing the gl glitter afterwards is because if I push down on any of these rhinestones, let's even this one up a little. And there's a piece of plastic right there. Let's get rid of that. Now we're just going to take, oh, let's touch up this right here. Sometimes there'll be an air bubble and you'll want to go back in. Oh, forgot a key part there. And clean up any of those little spots that don't look as thick. And then you're just going to sprinkle glitter all across it. You're going to want it to probably dry overnight because it's a little bit thicker of paint. So you want to make sure that, um, that it's completely dry. Otherwise, you could smear the entire thing. And then you don't want to put this in the microwave to dry or anything because of the glitter and the rhinestones. Um, but some other paints you can do that with. But in this case, I would not do that. So this is our little poodle thing. We're going to set it to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and take our poodle skirt. Now, we're going to let's fold it into pieces. 
so. You want to decide whereabouts on the skirt itself you want the poodle to be. Go ahead and put this here. We have another poodle that I've shaken off just a little bit. Right over here. Sorry, had to go out of camera frame for one second there. Um, there's still some extra glitter on there, but you're just going to have to decide on here where you want that to sit. Now, you can use some glue and just glue it on, or you can sew it on. So if you don't really have a lot of sewing skills, go ahead and feel free to glue it on. You can use some of the glitter paint if you like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do that right now. I'm just going to place it on the back real liberally in all the little spots. And then don't want it to overflow, so keep it a little bit from the edge. And then just push it all down like this. Now, you're going to want that to sit overnight and dry also. You could take some pearls if you like and cut the strand. Let's go ahead and cut it right now. These are knotted, so we're fine. So if you like, you can go ahead and um, glue those down, kind of going up to the waistband. I would do kind of a, a squiggly line, not so straight, but make it look like maybe it is a leash, or you can go like straight. I think straight across is a little harsh, so I think I would definitely, if I'm doing it, have it a little curvy like that and make sure it attaches. Could do that with rhinestone chain also, and it's that easy to create a poodle skirt.